back to my channel. Cat is crafty and I'm Cat. It's nice to see you again. Um, today I have uh, hauls from uh, Dollar Tree and Hobby Lobby. Um, these are things, a little collective, the couple of different trips I made to each store. So I hope you enjoy. Let's get started. I'm going to start with Hobby Lobby and I'm going to start with one of my favorite things which is washi. Um, I'm a bit of a washi hoarder. Uh, <laughs> I love it. And um, I usually try to buy it when it's on sale or get a deal online or something. But I have had my eye on these. I paid full price, I think $4.99. I am way behind in my planners. It's kind of a long story. It has to do with me going back to school, being busy with schoolwork, and also being in the middle of a move, which has taken me a long time to get um, everything packed up and moved. Um, just stuff going on in my personal life. So anyway, I'm way behind in my planners. I'm actually stuck at the end of July. <laughs> I know, bad. I have several planners. I really need to catch up and I plan to do that over the uh, Christmas holiday. So anyway, for August, I have had it in mind I want to do a Dog Days of Summer layout. And so I've had my eye on these for a while. So I went ahead and picked them up because I think they'll work really great with that theme. Also... Um, I was there one day to pick up some yarn. I didn't have any intentions of buying stickers or anything, but I passed by the fall section, and right now everything in fall is 80% off for the fall crafts. And so I picked these up, and they're so adorable, and because I'm way behind in my planner, I will still have time to use these um, when I get to fall eventually. Um, these were $2.99 regularly. I paid $0.60 cents for these. Beautiful, sparkly pumpkins with a little bit of bling. Um, sorry if there's a glare, you guys, but um, I have an overhead light on for lighting because we have some big trees right outside the window and they create shadows and I wanted to make sure everything could be seen clearly, so sorry about the glare. Um, and these are just gorgeous. These blingy pumpkins. Regularly $1.99. I paid 40 cents a piece for these. I'm very, very happy with this purchase. Okay, as I've mentioned a million times before and probably will mention again for which I apologize, I am making my Christmas cards this year. So I wanted some punches to help me with that. This is a snowflake punch by the Paper Studio. Um, and I'm impatient, guys. I always take things out of the package like as soon as I get home from the store. So anyway, I will try to tell you um, prices and, and who made them if I remember. I think this one was $7.99. And this I got because I saw, I wanted a snowflake punch and I saw an idea on Pinterest where someone punched out a bunch of snowflakes, put them in a circle, and glued them down in a circle, and made a wreath out of it. And I thought it was really pretty. And I think this bow will work well with the wreath. This is one of the nicest bow punches I have seen. This is um, Tim Holtz by Ranger. Uh, Sizzix, I guess, has something to do with it too. Don't really know. But anywho, uh, this bow is really pretty. It punches exactly true to this image. And um, I want this to decorate the front of my cards, um, to put on little Christmas trees as, you know, on the cards as the um, decoration. And uh, going along with that, I picked up these gem stickers because I think they'll look really neat right in the center of the bow. Um, I do plan to do a video uh, while I'm making some cards, so hopefully I can show you what that looks like when it's finished. But I got the small ones and the bigger ones. And again, the package is top is cut off because I just had to look at them more closely. Okay, something else I've wanted for a while and I'm also going to use for card making is these Distress Crayons. I think these were $12.99. These are Tim Holtz uh, by Ranger Distress Crayons. If you don't know how to use Distress Crayons or you've never heard of them or you just want to see the technique, I would recommend doing what I did, which is to go here on YouTube and look up Distress Crayon videos, how to use Distress Crayons. I think there are even some where Tim Holtz himself is demonstrating them. And these are water reactive, um, and I actually did also buy a water brush. And this has got a fine tip on it for uh, detailing work. And you just screw this part off, fill the bottom with water, put this back on, and then as you can see it says push there, so as you're working you can dip it in your watercolor paints, and I do have a watercolor paint palette. Um, and you control the amount of water you use, so you can get uh, very little water, so the colors are very vibrant and um, uh, 
uh, I forgot the word I'm looking for, but you know what I mean. Or you can use a lot of water and really um, thin it out so your colors are, are more muted and, and backgroundy. But um, I plan to use these on the front of my cards to uh, draw images, just very basic outlines of maybe some holly leaves and berries, and then come in with the water and just, you know, Oh gosh, smooshy out. <laughs> I've just made up a word, I think. But you know what I'm saying. Anyway, um, for a better idea, just look up a Distress Crayons video and maybe I'll try to do one while I'm actually working on it. Because it is a very, very neat effect and I'm all about being weird, different, and unusual. <laughs> I also picked up some stickers. Um again out of the package. These are beautiful. I actually bought these last year and used them in my planners and they're just gorgeous. They look like little gems but they're actually like tiny tiny dots of glitter. If you can get a good angle on that. Anyway, they're so beautiful. Look how they sparkle. Sparkle sparkle. Anyway, um, and there's something funny about this. Not really funny but just interesting and I'll show you when I get to my Dollar Tree haul. Um, and I got these. I thought they were so cute. They're foam stickers. So they're a little three-dimensional. These I actually left in the package. How about that? With some red glitter. And I'm making, I'm a crocheter, so I'm, I'm crocheting our Christmas wreath this year for our front door and I'm doing uh, gingerbread men. So I wanted the gingerbread men to have a little uh, candy cane in their, in their hands, so I thought that would be cute. And then I've got these, which I just think are absolutely beautiful. There's some gold foil, and of course they're completely clear, so they'll work really well on the cards. And I also got these pine trees. Now some of these already have snow on them, but I got this idea from another YouTuber that I like. She buys the pine trees like this that are just the green. And she uses a white paint marker and she goes in and she puts snow on them herself. And I thought that was a really unique idea because, you know, this these are like covered with snow, but you could do just a little bit of snowfall here and there and beyond. And I thought that would look really pretty. And you could also add some snow to the pine cones. I love the pine cone details. I think those will be really neat on the front of the card. So, the last thing I got from Hobby Lobby was this beautiful paper stack. Now all of their Christmas crafty items, um, paper stacks when I went last week were on sale for half off. They probably still are. So I got this for like six fifty or something. And it's beautiful and you know, Jesus is the reason that we celebrate Christmas. So I wanted to have some more, um, I guess, somber, not like depressing, but you know, um, serious uh, reason for the season type of paper to make my cards with so just do a quick flip um, these some of these have gold foil as you can see and they're just the colors everything is just gorgeous really really liking this paper stack look at that it's angels it's beautiful so I'm really happy with that and you know with everything that I picked up at Hobby Lobby I think it's gonna be really great for my card making and planning and all sorts of Christmassy crafts because I am planning to make my own tags this year too. Oh, oh, I totally forgot. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I got a whole bunch of letters. Just a whole bunch of letters. These are for card making too. Um, some more script, some more print. Um, I have good handwriting but I do not uh, have great um, hand lettering work. You know, kind of that fancy stuff people are doing nowadays. I'm not good at that at all so I bought the stickers for that okay let's move to Dollar Tree um, I'm normally not a huge fan of uh, get it together cat I'm so sorry you guys <laughs> uh, just bear with me I'm you know hot mess anyway um, anyway I'm not a huge fan of Dollar Tree washi in general because a lot of times the design does not go all the way to the edges a lot of times they'll put like a white border and I just think it really detracts from the overall washi but these go all the way to the edge and there's some feathers you can see here that even go off the edge so I don't know if these are new to Dollar Tree or just new to me but 
I really like these, so I picked them up. I thought these watercolor stars were beautiful too, and they also go all the way to the edge. So, Now I have to preface this by saying I'm not a fan of the Kardashians. Um, I'm just not. It's not something I ever got into. Um, these are the fingernail polishes that a lot of people have been hauling from Dollar Tree from Kylie Jenner, um, who I guess technically is not a Kardashian, but she's, you know, same mom, different dad, but same general Kardashian crazy family. Anyway, um, this is I Club You, which I think is kind of ridiculous, but anyway. And this is Crushed Velvet, and of course they use the K for the, anyway. I'm, I'm not going to editorialize on that anymore, I'm sorry. I, if you like the Kardashians, more power to you. I, it's just my personal opinion. Anyway, <laughs> um, so here we go. This is a very uh, pretty deep purple plummy color. Um, kind of a mauve almost. There's gorgeous gold shimmer in there. And this one is a cocoa brown with the gorgeous gold shimmer. And I just thought they were super pretty. So I picked those up. Um, stickers. I got some for my planner. I want to do a cowboy theme. Kind of Texas-y thing. This is for September when I eventually get there. <laughs> this is going to be a back to school theme page. And these, of course, I picked up the traditional Dollar Tree um, Christmas stickers, beautiful laser cut with the with the um, silver trim. Uh, snowmen, of course, I love snowmen, and these snowmen as well, which aren't so lasered, but they still have the beautiful silver trim, and I just think they're really gorgeous. Now, hold on to your socks. This is what I was talking about. This was my my super duper special find at Dollar Tree this time. Um, look at this. Look at that. Um, it's very similar to, well, you can't see that at all, from what I got at Hobby Lobby, um, which were not like twice or three times the price. You don't get as many on the Dollar Tree sheet, but they're very similar, very similar. They're the little, you know, uh, glitter dots, and they're just so pretty. I was just blown away. And I actually found these in the Christmas crafty area. These were so pretty. I got the poinsettias. I got the gift boxes. I got the ornaments, which are just, I mean, look at that. So the, these are just gorgeous. Good job, Dollar Tree. Seriously. And then, of course, the snowflakes. There's a good angle. You can see. Those are so pretty. A buck a piece. A buck a piece for these. I was just, sorry, I was out of frame there, just, just lovely, I think, and really not all that different from what I paid more for at Hobby Lobby. So, I think it was very successful trip to both Hobby Lobby and Dollar Tree. That is all, those are all of my goodies that I got this time around. All my stickers and my Punches and my washi and just all this good stuff. <laughs> Thanks for sticking with me through another video. Um, I'm going to have another one soon uh, with Michael's and Target uh, haul. Again, collective from a few different trips. But um, if you like what you see and if you want to see more hauls and crafty stuff, uh, please like this video, thumbs up, and subscribe. Um, thank you to those who have already subscribed. Um, it, it makes me very happy. Um, it also makes me happy to make these videos. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys again soon.